Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We are actually going to talk about Bitcoin, Craig Wright, and the real Satoshi. If you want to join me on my live stream, I'll be streaming probably once tonight. Uh, check out the links in my description in the comments. So, Craig Wright, the self claimed Satoshi Nakamoto, remember in the court case, he actually gave a list of a bunch of Bitcoin addresses that I said were his. A really funny development happened today. So some of those uh, addresses actually became active, but they're not by Craig Wright. Guess what? Because they actually signed a message uh, from those addresses that said Craig Wright is a fraud. So obviously, I don't think he's calling himself a fraud. So what that means is other people had access to those addresses that were not Craig Wright, and they actually signed the message. So some of the so this actually gives me more proof that Satoshi Nakamoto is a group of people and not just one person. Uh, because I think one of the guys had to be Hal Finney, and he's dead. He died a while ago, unless you know you actually believe that was a decoy, but he was actually in a serious condition in a long time, so I'm pretty sure he's gone. So, at the, so that conspiracy is like completely fake, if, uh, if there was one. Um, so, but there's other people that were close to Hal Finney, not including Craig Wright, that were actually Satoshi Nakamoto, that actually have, that are the real Satoshi group, and had actual access to the coins. So his own coins call him a fraud, which means he doesn't actually own those coins. And you know what? He actually had the, he had an injunction again, um, to actually throw out the case of um, Kleinman. I don't think he's gonna get that now. You know why? Because it's now been proven because his coins, his own addresses that he listed, called him a fraud. Um, it's actually been proven that he lied again in court, just like last time he lied again in court and judges do not like it, nor do juries when you blatantly lie in court. This is almost 100% proof that he actually lied in court. Not really sure how this guy's like still out and about, honestly. I think lying in court's like, you know, illegal. I'm not really sure how that system works, but I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Um, so he, the, the addresses that, the documents that he uh, submitted were absolutely bullshit because he doesn't actually control those addresses and his claims of being Satoshi Nakamoto are not true because basically all his claims and the addresses that he claimed to have uh, had um, turned out to be lies. So unfortunately for him and basically something that all of us knew his own coins called him a fraud meaning he does not own those coins meaning he lied in court meaning he's not Satoshi Nakamoto. However, um, one of those addresses, I believe, actually sold 50 Bitcoin. So people are uh, going and saying like, oh my God, he sold 50 Bitcoin. Satoshi no longer believes in the, uh, uh, he no longer believes in the project. Should we all sell out? Nah, you really shouldn't. Remember what I said, Satoshi Nakamoto is probably a group of many people. 50 Bitcoins is really not that much uh, in the big scheme of things. It doesn't mean that one of those early guys um, doesn't believe in the project anymore. 50 is probably a very, very small part of a stack. Although 50 Bitcoins is $500,000 and you can buy a nice Lambo with $500,000. So he might've just wanted something nice for himself. He might've just wanted a Lambo, a house or something. So he sold 50 Bitcoins to actually pay life's living expenses which is definitely um which is definitely you know plausible and it's not a reason for any of us to panic so no satoshi is not selling out and no craig wright is not satoshi nakamoto so that is the news for today let me know what you think like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button and remember bsv is started by a guy that lied multiple times in court it looks like so uh wouldn't invest in that thing if I were you. So thank you and have a nice day.